Hey everybody, I'm Ed. And I'm Barb. And we're the streeters. Do it again. <laughs> I guess I'm the streeter. <laughs> All right. Hi everybody. I'm Ed. And I'm Barb. And, and we're, we're the, the streeters. streeters. <laughs> hey, so welcome to this week's video. We're going to tell you about what's going on in February here at the glass shop. And we've got a new uh, product line coming up for you that we're going to tell you all about that's available on our website. So, um, yeah, it's great. Yeah, we got a lot planned for February. So we sure do. Yeah, classes start next week. That would be uh, Monday, February the 8th. So classes will, a new class, uh, it's a beginner class for stained glass. We'll four be weeks. using copper, wo copper foil. It's, a pro it's four weeks long. You can follow with us. Monday night the 8th, we'll be going over how to make our pattern. Mm -hmm. This one we're going to be drawing ourselves. So uh, there's just a few things that you're going to need besides <laughs> a big long gray hair in your mouth. Oh God. So we just want to kind of give you a heads up on what you're going to need for the class that starts February the 8th at 7 p.m. Next Monday night. Next Monday night, yeah. So we're going to need... Uh, from the hardware store, you're going to need a couple of single edge razor blades. You're going to need a couple wooden strips, maybe 24 to 30 inches long. Just two of them will be fine. A piece of plywood, at least a half inch thick, three quarters would work better, two foot by two foot. This is going to be your work surface for our project that we're going to start on next Monday night. So we're going to be talking about not only designing a little, a small window for you to build, the following week, on the 15th, we're going to be using our cutting skills. That's right, folks. We're going to be cutting glass again, and you're going to be cutting glass side, side by side with Ed and Barb for the 15th. Okay, so now if they want to do the, uh, like a little panel at their home, say a door, say a little door in a cabinet, they could just measure that, and they could just make their panel... They don't have to do exactly what you're doing, but you're going to show them. No, how I'm to going to show you the how measurements to, yeah. and all that. We're going to do the measurements and show you how to how to start out uh, designing a small panel. Okay, so my panel isn't specifically going to fit anything. However, I'm only making my design or my panel what I can the size that I can get out of a Manila folder opened up which is going to be somewhere around 10 by 20. It's going to be a small panel. It's going to be a lot of rectangles and squares. So we're going to be using our framing square that you have in your studio. We're going to be using a lot of different tools because this time we're not just saying, hey, here's a cardinal. We're saying, hey, let's design a window, keep it simple, and have some fun building it and learn even more details about fabricating stained glass bar. This should be a fun class. It should be, and I hope you'll join us for it. We have a lot of things coming up uh, with that class. And then, I want we have a big surprise for everybody this week. <laughs> everyone was, uh, not everyone, but a lot of people said, well, Ed and Barb, why don't you just have a stained glass kit that's available on your website? Because we used to do it with our classes. Yeah. Every... We always had a kit for the students. If they wanted to continue in the stained glass, this kit has always been available to right. them. Right, right. So you really, when, before, you, you know, before you buy a kit with all these tools that you need, you really need to say, you know, I think I enjoy this and it relaxes me enough that I can go ahead and buy the tools to do it. So, Barbara and I have come up, we got our, our old toolkit uh, line out from when we would offer our toolkits to our stained glass students when we were teaching in person here at Conway Glass. And we did some research on the, on the grinder. And we did, some, we did do some research on the grinder. So, in your stained glass kit, and it's coming up, we're going to show you 15 tools that you need for your tool arsenal and every bit of it is you're a beginner getting ready to turn into a professional. <laughs> and if you use, use these tools here that are available on our website, this is all you'll need for your stained glass kit. 
And now, all of your neighbors will be coming over asking you to build a window for them. They'll say, gee, Fred, that looks nice. Can you build me one? How much does that cost? How and then when you tell them, they fall cost? over. <laughs> so, and go ahead and kind of figure out if you're going to, if you are going to do a pattern along with side by side with Barbara and I starting on the 8th, then go ahead and figure out kind of what you want to do. How much glass you want. How much glass you're going to need. And if you're going to do any glass, I'm probably going to just use a multitude of colors in mine, just because I'm a color person and color makes me smile. So, um, well, Sometimes. Barbara makes me smile too. <laughs> so that's a good thing. A lot of things make me yeah, smile. Yeah, a lot of things make me smile. I'm a happy guy. So, uh, but anyway, here we go. We're going to take you into the stained glass studio and show you our toolkit. And remember, our door to your door, $3.99. We're offering you free shipping. You can order this kit online. And they get a free square with the first 10 people. That's get. right. So the first 10 kits that we send out, we're sending you a free square. So if you go to conwayglass.com and go to... Oh, tools, tools and, and merch. merch. Okay, so this is the first thing we're putting on that page, the tools and merch page is the kit and it has all of the items listed out for you and like we said it's uh $3.99 free shipping and a free square if you order and just when you once you order please allow at least allow 10 days for us to get it put the order put together and shipped so right we um, have to pack it we have to pack it and everything so but we just wanted to let you know because you know, sometimes you may not feel comfortable ordering something from somebody else. This is the toolkit we've been using for 25 years that we've been teaching stained glass. And it really hasn't changed much except for the, I guess really the grinder. The grinder. Yeah. The grinder's changed a lot. Well, not a lot. I'm trying to find a, a, a very economical grinder, but that was a good grinder that will last. So this is the one we came up with. Yeah. So the grinder that we're recommending that you buy that comes with, with comes with our toolkit is, uh, has a five year warranty on it. And we ask you as soon as you get your kit, open that up, get that warranty card out, fill it out and send it to Griffin Corporation so that they have it on file. And, um, they're really good. With they're the really warranties. good about it. And uh, so we're going to do some more research. Read all your instructions. And if you have any questions, you can just contact us. You can we'll always have a card contact in there us. And you can give us a call or send us an email. Yeah. We'll be happy to answer your questions. And the other thing about this Griffin grinder barb is that it has a 5 16th shaft. So it fits not only the really nice grinder bits. Yeah. But it'll also fit the aftermarket ones if you, you know, and like I said, sometimes we work on a budget. That's but right. if you keep that grinder head cool and not let it be spitting flakes of glass all over the place or building up glass dust on the diamonds, you'll be surprised just how long this thing will last you. Barbara and I have grinders in our stained glass room that we use almost every day. We should line them up and take that a picture. That are older, <laughs> that are uh, some, uh, two of them that we've had since we've been in business, which is 36 years. If you take care of these tools, they will last you. And yes. we're proof of that. That's right. So are you ready to get started? I think we're ready. Let's go into the stained glass Come studio. On, let's go. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stained glass studio. My name is Ed, and we just finished our first beginner... Uh, class for the stained glass and everybody said well uh, Ed do you have tools can we buy tools from you and Barb we're like okay so we put a toolkit together for you and here it is these are 15 things items for your toolkit at your home here we go number one is going to be your glass cutter now this is the pencil grip glass cutter and this is the pistol grip glass cutter. Now, when you order this kit online from Barb and I, you just choose which one of these two glass cutters that you would like. So just let us know when you order the kit. Next in our kit is going to be our grousing pliers. These are our breaker grousing pliers and we're just going to kind of, so 
these are tools here. The tools that I'm showing you now, you don't ever have to buy again as long as you take care of them. Number three is gonna be our metal running pliers. Not plastic, but metal running pliers. These are gonna help you break your glass much easier and also give you an extra pair of hands to use when you're using your grousing pliers if you need it. So number four, we're gonna, we're gonna send you a bundle of flux brushes. Not just a flux brush, but we're gonna send you a bundle because you're gonna need them eventually. There's no reason to run out and try and find them. So here's your bundle of flux brushes. So that's our item number four. Foremost and most importantly, in your stained glass tool arsenal is your 100 watt soldering iron. This soldering iron being 100 watts will do either lead or copper foil for you and it'll definitely melt 60-40 or 50-50. I choose to use 50-50 and in this kit, guess what? That's what we're sending you. A roll of 50-50 solder for you to start enjoying on your projects that you're working with. Here we go. The next item in our kit coming to you is our wattage controller. Without this, if your soldering iron's too hot, it doesn't beat up. If your soldering iron is too cold, it doesn't beat up. With this temperature controller, turn that bad boy on, Somewhere between six and seven is gonna be your ideal temperature for melting your solder and allowing it to beat up by moving it just the right speed and watching the solder melt. So here we go, we're coming in now. This is our Venture 732nd copper foil tape. I'm sending you the 732nd foil because this is the most commonly used and it's a blackback. And I think, just my preference, the blackback has a stickier tape on it. Just me, probably not, but it, again, that's just me. So now we have our Venture copper foil tape. Next in line, we have our copper foil caddy. The box says it's a dispenser. I call it a caddy because it carries all my copper foil for me. So as long as it's carrying my copper foil for me, that's great. And when you look in here, guys, you can see it holds several different sizes of copper foil. And yes, copper foil tape does come up to at least the, I think the largest width it comes is a half inch. That's why there's a half inch hole here. They do make half inch copper foil, gang. So next on our list, it's going to be our chemicals that we're sending you within the kit. First of all, we are going to send you a bottle, an eight ounce bottle of black patina. Now this, like when we were doing our bird, uh, we didn't leave our solder silver. We went ahead and black patinaed it. So that stained and oxidized the solder and turned it black and made that cardinal so beautiful. So you don't have to look around. We're also, Barb and I are also going to send you a two ounce bottle of glass cutter oil. Now, when you're using your cutter, whether it be the pistol grip or the pencil grip, you will always, either, either one of them, they come, you can see it right here. They come with a little eyedropper and that little eyedropper will go right in here you get you about a half of an eyedropper full, put it in your cutter, and just cut glass like crazy and enjoy yourself. And eventually, that wick within the soldering, I mean within the glass cutter, will get wet and your wheel will stay lubricated for a very long time. And last but not least is our Glass Star Flux. Now, I can't send you Ruby Flux because it costs a little bit too much money. This is comparable and is a water-based flux, doesn't smoke, and it's really a good flux for beginners. So now what we're going to talk about is Barbara and I have done a little bit of research on the grinders. 
And we found that the best beginner grinder for your studio is this product made by Griffin. And it is called the Griffet Studio Model Grinder. A lot of great things are happening with this grinder. It's got a 3000 RPM speed on it. It also comes with a five year warranty from the factory. So when you open this box, there's a warranty card in there. Don't hesitate to put that warranty card in the mail and get it to them. The other thing that you're gonna find in this grinder is that it fits any grinder head that has that is meant for a 5 16th shaft. So this allows you, if you don't wanna spend a lot of money on a nice grinder head, you can spend a little bit of money on it. As long as it has fits that 5 16th shaft, you're in good shape. I think you're gonna enjoy this grinder and I think you're gonna be able to build lots of stained glass projects by using this kit put together from Barb and I over here at Conway Glass and RDRV. Thanks again for tuning in today. Have a great week.